The main indications for knee arthroscopy are uh, pain, um, and particularly we look at meniscal pathology, so tears of the meniscus, and also tears of the anterior cruciate ligament. Those are the two main indications for doing knee arthroscopy, uh, and obviously ACL reconstruction. Meniscal tearing is, is relatively common. Uh, it's typically a twisting injury, uh, but it may come on without any injury at all, especially as if it's part of a degeneration of the knee. Anterior cruciate ligament injury is, a, is quite a common injury in Australia because we're a very sporting nation. It's typically a non-contact injury. Uh, you might be running you, and change direction and your knee goes pop, you, you swell up automatically um, and you, you have to leave the field typically with an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Surgery is done with a telescope typically about the size of my pen. There are two small portal holes that are made, one to look through, one to work through. And typically that's all you need for a meniscectomy, as we call it, which is removing or repairing the meniscus. For an anterior cruciate ligament, we have to take hamstring graft. So there's a small incision just below the knee to harvest the hamstring graft uh, as a result of that. But again, just two small incisions for the work inside the knee. As with any procedure in the lower limb, or the knee especially, there's a small risk of infection, about one in 100, and also a small risk of getting a clot in the leg. If you're at high risk for, these, uh, for a clot especially, you need to just let us know if there's any family history of a clot in the family, or if you've had previous instance of clotting, then you need to let us know. With anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction, there's a five to 10% chance of re-rupture. There's also a very small chance of what's called arthro fibrosis if we operate on the knee that's very stiff, which is why we tend to get your knee mobile before we operate on it. With a, an irregular knee arthroscopy, so for instance a meniscectomy procedure, you will have some swelling inside the knee which typically starts to reduce by day two or day three. If there's any increase in swelling after day three or day four, then you need to let me know and I'll see you straight away. Um, for a meniscectomy, in terms of time off work, uh, if you're doing a very physical job and the rest of your knee is good, in good shape, then you typically be off work for two weeks. If the rest of your knee does have some degeneration in it, then your, your progress might be slower. So I always warn my patients that progress might be slower, especially if you're in your 50s uh, and onwards, then there might be some degeneration present in the knee and you might not get 100% back in your knee as a result of that. For an anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction, progress is a, is a lot longer. Rehabilitation is longer. Typically returning to contact sports is six months after surgery. There are some controversies um, in anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. Um, the use of the Lars ligament or ligament augmentation reinforcement system uh, is slightly controversial. It is used in Australia. I have used it myself. I typically use it if I'm not content, not happy with the size of the hamstring graft that I, that I harvest as an augment, which is precisely what it's meant for. There are also some controversies about the use of knee arthroscopy in a degenerative knee, so in a knee that's wearing out. And I'd refer my patients typically to the Australian Orthopaedic Association uh, webpage on these issues. They do have a, a position paper. The Australian Knee Society does have a position paper on both of these issues.